the Keserani community and the Little Sisters project was one of huge interest to the company. The Little Sisters run a hospital and um, school facility in the Kasarani area and um, the issue at the time was high fluoride concentration in their raw water sources. It causes dental and skeletal fluorosis in people. Over about 30 million Kenyan people are living with this condition. Initially, the local community used to get their water from the city supply. Unfortunately, due to distant and numerous breakages, the water gets contaminated on the way. Many people, members of the community, usually complain on waterborne diseases or water-related illnesses. We were not sure of the safety of this water, and they come and sell to us at high cost. When there's no enough sufficient water in the hospital, then almost all procedures and all the running up of a hospital every day comes to a standstill. We have a big population. If you combine the patients in the outpatient, we have about 400 patients in a day that will need water in one way or another. The Little Sisters of St. Francis managed three schools in this complex. This majorly has resulted to a high cost uh, for us in the expenditure, and we have been having this challenge. We were first approached uh, by the Little Sisters organization uh, to consider ways to support their ability to address fluoride problems that they were experiencing with their borehole in the hospital and larger facility at their compound. So this kind of collaboration uh, between us allowed us to provide the financial resources that were necessary in order to expand the water services that, that Little Sisters can provide. In partnership with DuPont Water Solutions and USAID, we're able to put together a solution to deploy a defluoridization unit on site. And this was able to reduce the fluoride levels to acceptable global recommendation standards. DuPont has a solution or has a product that uses low energy but produces similar results or similar quality. So fluoride removal can be achieved by using such a technology. With the nanofiltration membrane, you're able to selectively remove fluoride molecules from the water, uh, allowing you to run treatment systems at higher levels of uh, recovery. So you're able to, to achieve um, much more in terms of developing uh, uh, much simpler um, systems to remove fluoride from drinking water. We were targeting majorly the fluoride, the high fluoride levels in the water, which was up to 14 ppm. So we wanted to reduce this to levels that are acceptable for drinking. That is below 1.5 ppm. And if you look at the nano filter, the nano filter is a best filter to target uh, the fluorides. At the same time, it, con it consumes much less energy. It gives a very good return on investment whenever you use these products. So they are the best in the market and they are the best in terms of efficiency. This project has become a blessing to the community around us. It has assured us for a very clean filtered water, a water that we are not supposed even to boil. Our water basically now is fluoride free. We are able to enjoy the water here as a community and even in the community which is living around us. This very safe water has not only saved a lot of cost in the hospital, but also has brought a wonderful solution to our community who would spend about four to five dollars to purchase the 20 liter drinking water from the supermarket. Now they can use as less as 0.4 dollars to get very safe, sweet and tasty water. With an assurance of the nanofiltration we have at St. Francis, at the Little Sisters Water Project, we feel that the people appreciate getting their water from here. I came to fetch water all the way from a place called Maternity. This place, I know it has the water consumed here. It's clean for consumption. We, we are very happy because uh, these uh, waterborne diseases have decreased considerably, especially with the children, diarrhea, uh, typhoid, and uh, amoebas. The greatest lesson learned for us is that partnerships work, partnerships are important. Working together to develop solutions, I think, is, is critical. With guys like the USAD, with the Davidson Shetliff, or the St. Francis Hospital, have enabled us to put funds together to bring about projects that can positively impact communities. We partnered with 
the technology provider, the people with the need, the, the company that was able to provide infrastructure, and together with that, we've been able to impact 6,000 lives just with this little project. They're sharing this story not only in this community, but you'll find even in far distant communities, they're getting to know about this water, and they want to tell this story to anyone who can benefit from this safe and very, very affordable drinking water. I'm confident that nanotechnology will become probably the the solution of choice to address fluoride removal in this region. Uh, without water, uh, no economic activities can go on, not just in Kenya but across the world. Water is what sustains life. So being able to come up with solutions that make water available to Kenyans, to East Africans, is very fulfilling. Music